Hey guys, just want to do a quick video about um, the different types of veganism because I'm sure a lot of you don't realize that there are different types. Uh, there are different tiers. Let me say that because I know a lot of vegans are going to say, no, you either are or you aren't. You either stop eating all animals, including birds and fish, definitely. Like, I don't know why people, why they're that thing about like fish is meat or is I mean chicken and tuna and whatever swordfish lobster they are definitely animal flesh so I mean there is pescatarian if you have heard of that which I guess is a type of I guess it would be included in the the group of veganism but I mean if you're pescatarian you're not vegan because and pescatarians are the ones who, they stop eating mammals, so like red meat or, I don't know, sheep red meat or, I don't know what, it's like mammal meat, they stop eating chicken, turkey, uh, I guess any other birds. They only eat fish meat and, I guess they, I think they, yeah, they still eat dairy and, um, dairy and eggs, because those don't, um, include killing the animal, like slaughtering the animal, but, I mean, in actuality, yeah, there is a lot more cruelty in a glass of milk, that's from a dairy cow who was kept alive during her suffering of having to be constantly pregnant to produce milk and being milked by, um, you know, humans and they use machines to, like, artificially inseminate them and... You know, if you just have to look at how it's gruesome how they immediately take the baby away because, you know, they don't want to give the baby the milk because it's designed for the baby, but, uh, if you think that good shit's for us, but, you know, with dairy, it's actually really, really bad for humans. I don't know why. The only person who should be drinking it is baby cows. Um. So yeah, that's pescatarian, because pesca, like pescar, is Spanish verb for fish, so, and pes, fish, pescado, fish, those are Spanish words, so pesca, pescatarian, they only eat fish, um, so don't think you're vegetarian when you eat nothing but fish meat, um, yeah, vegetarians just eat, no, no, like, animal flesh. They still eat dairy and eggs. Um, uh, I guess the, not vegan, but I'll include it. Um, because, I mean, you don't realize how there's so many different, like, styles of everything, not just veganism, but, I mean, like, with the yoga, I bet, a lot of people who don't know anything about yoga, who don't do yoga, don't realize there's not just Hatha yoga, that's the one you see most often, that's most common. But no, there's there's Kundalini, there's Vinyasa, there's, I think, Ashtanga, Bikram, Bhakti yoga, Tantric yoga, or, uh, I don't know, you could include a lot of things as yoga. There, there are so many types of yoga. Um, there's, I think, sh sh Shakti yoga, or s what's it called? Um, s sattva yoga, sattva yoga, sattva yoga, um, and, uh, I mean, there's Chinese yoga, which Qigong, I don't know if that's really yoga, like, it's sort of, but, you know, it's very distinct. I wouldn't really include it with, like, like, Vinyasa, that's another type in Kundalini, but they're, I don't know. Chinese yoga and Qigong, well, like, Tai Chi, they're, they're different. They're, like, body work or energy work. Um, and also there, I mean, there are different types of pumpkins, different types of pears and peaches. 
I mean, of course, there are all these different species of, like, parrots and toucans and um, different breeds of dogs. Uh, you know, there are all these different species of cats, like the sand cat and, you know, Bengal tiger and all the different types of tigers and, yeah, uh, different types of lemurs, whatever, different... There are actually different types of snowflakes. If you didn't know, there are, I think, over over 70 types of snowflakes. I read in a book that there are different, if you look under a microscope, different formations. There's some that are 12 pointed, 12 pointed stars, some that are 8 points or 6 points, um, I think some 5 and 4 points. Some three points, some, uh, some don't have any points, they're like lumps. Some are cylindrical, some are like columns, some are hexagonal. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. They're, you just have to open your eyes and pay attention. I think there are some that are like needle shaped, so, like, if the wind blows them into your face really hard, it'll sting. It'll sting really bad, which... I mean, that kind of sounds like it would suck, but, um, different types of vegan, but I want to say, uh, I mean, there, there are people who do, I guess, vegan during the week and eating me on the weekend, which, eh, that's not really, me, I'm vegan 100% because I don't see why not, but, um, there's, I mean, there's fruitarians, which are people who only eat fruit and some vegetables, maybe. Uh, and there are people who eat both fruits and vegetables, but they they avoid anything that grew under the ground, like carrots or turnips, I guess, potatoes, potatoes. Um, and they avoid corn, too, because... I don't know, corn's a weird one. Like, each individual kernel is a fruit, but... I don't know. Like, carrots are a vegetable, but... The ones you have at the store are pretty different from other vegetables. Uh, they're really high in sugar. That's why they're so bad for, for rabbits. Because that's not their natural diet. And, like, corn is so bad for cows. Because that's not their natural diet. Um, yeah, they just eat grass. Yeah, like, grass-fed beef is so much different than, uh, former is like, corn-fed beef. Wild-caught salmon is so much different than farm salmon, but I don't think, like, salmon and cow isn't for human consumption. Uh, because, you know, like, Things that grew out of the ground, that's grounding, that's... Because, I mean, all of these foods do have different energies, and they affect what... What you put into your body has an effect on, like, performance, or how well you perform, what... What your body... I guess how, how good your sleep is, your sleep quality, how often you remember your dreams. Um... I don't know how well you can act or uh, elicit emotion, your own emotion, like cry on command, like I guess actors, actors who can like cry, fake cry with real tears are, you know, they, they're really healthy. And I mean, food is definitely part of health. Um, let's see what other types would be. I mean, freeganism, I don't know if, I mean, people who only eat free stuff, uh, I mean, it could be free animal products, or it could be free, just wild fruit, wild vegetables, or wild, like, dandelion greens, I just got those from around my neighborhood, growing out the, the curb, or whatever, across the street, or, um, English hive leaves, I see those growing on the ground, I eat those, um, or, I mean, there's dumpster diving. Some people do dumpster diving because they know, 
a lot of restaurants or a lot of people they throw out stuff way before it really goes bad. Um, so yeah, dumpster diving, gorilla gardening, uh, or you know, I guess not just food related. It's also like the furniture you own or what you wear is. Because, I mean, some freaking they just take free furniture. They, they go scavenging around for stuff people are throwing away. Um, let's see. So, freeganism. I mean, some people, like, they figure... I mean, something I did that I don't know if I'd do it again. Uh, my guts ordered sweet potato fries, and I didn't realized it would come with honey mustard sauce. I know honey is like not really vegan. Um, I didn't realize it come with honey mustard sauce, but you know, it came with honey mustard sauce and I figured if I don't eat this, they're just gonna throw it away. So, I mean, some people do it like, okay, if the animal products are just gonna be thrown away, if I don't eat it, then I'll eat it. Um, so there's that freeganism, fruitarianism, and people who j don't, just don't eat um, stuff that's just grown in the ground. And I mean, there's got to be other types of veganism, pescatarianism. Um, and I can't think of any others right now. Uh, but. I mean, vegan is definitely something you gotta do if you want to find out what's really going on. How to decalcify your third eye or get your brain working how it really should be. Because, I mean, you're, humans are really only supposed to eat, like, fruit, some vegetables, like, nuts, seeds, that's it. Um, yeah. Because uh, it does have an effect on your brain, definitely. Um, so, gotta go vegan. And fasting is really good for, I mean, learning everything that's going on on this world. You know, because you have a receptor in your brain. And your antenna, when it's all stuffed with all these different ingredients. Uh, you know, all these different foods. Their, their information your body is processing, like, it has a bunch of different ingredients, like when it comes in a box or bag or whatever, and you can't count how many ingredients, it's like, you know, that's going to take a lot of work for your body to process, and, um, I mean, for most of human history, we've been mostly eating, like, one ingredient foods, or, like, I guess when they started to make bread, they only used, like, flour, water, salt, I think, maybe baking soda, or, you know, not that many ingredients, like, five, maybe, um, so, yeah, once you start changing your diet, you know, like, entertainment becomes, watching other people do stupid stuff, it, well, for me, I watch YouTube and Netflix more for, like, research to see how other people are living or how they react. So, there's a difference between research and entertainment. I don't just watch the stupid stuff like, I don't know, someone juggling or, I don't know, cartoons, Spongebob or anything animated or, um, um, what do I watch? Mostly documentaries on Netflix. Um, I've been watching a series of unforced events on Netflix because I read the books. Um, I, I watched The Help, the movie, because I read the book after I read the book. Um, books are always better than the movie. Um, I mean, I... I read the book of um, Shrek, the book Shrek, but, you know, the book was pretty different from the movie. Uh, I mean, the books of 
You should read the books of like the cat and the hat that grins at soul Christmas because I mean the movies are pretty messed up versions of or doped up versions of the thing like like Ender Saga and there's game the movie made the the book look like trash. Or um no the book was good and the the movie was uh, so I mean you can't judge the book just based on the movie because. Uh, um, so that's me being vegan and fasting and um, taking down the the powers that shouldn't be one one video at a time because we're all part of this big uh, gray awakening. Like the immortality process is another really good one I should recommend for you guys. Uh, Daniel of Daria Qigong. No, Yo T Y O Q I, they're all really good. Um, uh, Organite, you should look up Organite. Uh, look up veganism and the occult, or vegetarianism and the occult. Libra walks or recordings. Um, uh, um, Walden Pond by Henry David Thoreau. It's on LibriVox recording because, you know, no one wants to read that book. Like, I, I didn't read it because, I mean, I don't think there are any libraries around me that, that, um, have the book. And it's, uh, and it's easier to listen to it. I mean, because I, I read enough books and. Yeah, you know, LibriVox recordings are really good because, I mean, there's one for the Call of Cthulhu, I think. There's H.P. Lovecraft, and they're probably, um, uh, a ground pole with LibriVox recordings, and, um, so stay awake, you guys.